downtown Bikini Bottom, once a bustling metropolis, now a debris-covered crater. SpongeBob, the robots are destroying downtown Bikini Bottom. Welcome back, Bottom. everybody, to, to SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom. We are in downtown Bikini Bottom with the lovely Mrs. Puff, who just appeared on my screen. All right, but it's gonna take a while to get all this dust. Look at that robot that's jumping in the background. <laughs> what is he doing? Not vacuum, evacuate. We have to get everyone to safety. You can count on me, Mrs. Can we Puff. just load them up in the boats? That won't do any good. Why not? Aren't, aren't the boats like cars or something? Why not? Because the robots have taken all the steering wheels. Oh. <laughs> We won't take the full cars, only the steering wheels. That way you can't operate them, but you can't make a move anywhere. Couldn't we just drive in a straight line? <laughs> no, there are too many turns. I was asking the real questions right now. Those fiends, they thought of everything. Never fear, Mrs. Puff. I'll get those steering wheels back. SpongeBob, if you're involved, I always fear. Mm -hmm. But I tell you what, if you can pull this off, I'll give you a golden spatula. There's no space between the A and the G when it says golden spatula, and that bothers me. I don't like that. How about a driver's license instead? Nice try. <laughs> Smash Bros. will never get that driver's license. Anyway, yes, welcome back. I love oh. opening presents. Too pretty. Can't take it. I'm taking the chance to do this before I have to go ahead and make dinner. Uh, cause I figured, you know, I recorded a video yesterday, so I might as well record one today, you know what I mean? When Spongebob touches his ball, he will turn it into a sponge ball. Wow. You can roll quickly as a sponge ball, but you cannot do anything else. Being hurt or pressing any button will change you back to your normal self. Okay. Oosh. Roll, Onward. Roll, roll the Good job, Gary. Uh, this robot is called G-Love. The best way to do with him is to bubble bounce him from above. Alright. Yeah, I recorded a video yesterday, which I soon recorded the first part for, because I recorded the second part first. Uh, so I figured I'd go ahead and record this one so I have, you know, a video ready for before that, because I'm pretty sure it's going to take me a while. Before I go ahead and get to that one. Oh, I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. No. Okay. Yeah, but I'm excited for the video I recorded yesterday. Um because it's gonna be a Am I gonna Am I gonna uh, upload this one for that one? Yeah. Why not? So yeah, I'm just. I recorded a video yesterday. It's good. It's a Minecraft video. <laughs> of this little challenge thing that I wanted to do. It's for research and things like that. So uh, I did it with my friend. So I'm excited for you all to meet him. He's very sweet. Yeah, I've always wanted to do. Uh, Oh. I've always been a Minecraft player for the longest time. And I wanted to figure out how to like incorporate that into the channel without like being exclusively Minecraft because my goal was always to just be like a sit down where I, it's just me and it's you watching and I just play different little games that I'm bad and also good at. <laughs> But it is, like, one of my most favorite games on the terms of, like, something I can just sit down and play. Yeah, it's just one of those games that I like to sit down and play either by myself or with my this friend. This door is locked from the inside. 
Who would do such a thing? I don't know, Bubble Buddy. So I wanted to like at some point incorporate that into the channel. I don't want to become like exclusively Minecraft because I do have plans after that video to attempt to do another kind of Minecraft video. Like I have a uh, I have the the idea for like a Minecraft survival series, you know what I mean? Which I think would be nice, uh, especially since I played the Bedrock version on the Xbox, because I don't have it on my uh, PC. Not yet, at least. Not done! Doesn't that mean... Meow. Oh, that's the entrance to the rooftops, which leads to the lighthouse? Aha! Uh -huh. There's another golden spatula! I could really use that. Meow. What do you mean, get Sandy to help me? Sandy. I can get through this. Meow, meow. Oh, that gap looks big. <laughs> okay, I'm definitely not making that jump. How is anyone going to get across there? Sandy will. <laughs> Uh-oh, more robots. Holy Dutchman's ghost! That gap looks impossible! And impassable! Okay, okay, I'll go get Sandy to help me out. <laughs> Eventually, I will get Minecraft on my PC so I can have both the Java edition and the Bedrock version. Um, I'm pretty used to the Bedrock version because I've always played it. Uh, I always play Minecraft on like my Xbox or my old I iPad that I used to have. So <clears throat> I'm pretty used to it. I'm not exactly used to the Java edition. So it'll be a nice experience when I eventually get it. Jump to the top of these. So then you can glide across the gap to the next rooftop by double jumping and holding A afterwards. Okay. But I think it'd be a nice little experience. I want to get this. There's another one. Lion squirrel coming through. Can I? <laughs> that was cool. But I was debating on whether or not to do it for the bedrock version or for the Java version. I'm thinking maybe it would be cool to do both. Like do the Bedrock version first and then eventually do the Java edition when I get it. Just to like show what the differences are between them, you know what I mean? That would be cool. This is where all my videos are, me rambling to myself. <laughs> Which I hope you guys are enjoying, because uh, I, I I'm not I'm still getting used to this, especially the whole talking part and everything. Like I discussed this with my mom, and I'm not exactly used to this. So you can do a chop attack by pressing X. If you chop in the air, you perform a karate kick. X. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Sandy can lasso the object by pressing B. There we go. One, two, three. Yeah, even though it's been like a good... Oh no. There we go. Even though it's been like a good couple months now, probably, which is wild to think about. That I've been doing this for a good couple months. Uh, I'm still not used to full talking, especially by myself and everything. Sandy Colossal Robot by pressing B. Come here, you. Sweet. Um... Uh-oh. Where are you coming from? Oh, you're up there. Come here, you. Yeah, I have a bunch of little ideas that I want to do. Um, I have a lot of little ideas swimming around in this brain of mine. Which... I guess you could say is a good thing because it's good that I have ideas still, considering I'm still new. Which, by the way, I just remembered since we're playing this right now, my channel has recently hit a thousand views overall, which is insane, by the way. <laughs> like, I. You know, I've said in like other videos, it's going to probably take like a long time for me to make it to like where I can be monetized um, and where I can get to my like initial goals and everything like that. 
I recently set a small one where I'm hoping to get at least 30 subscribers by New Year's Eve, which seems like pretty small compared to the 13 that I have now. Thank you all, by the way, for subscribing that are uh, subscribed to me right now. It is it is insane to me that I was even able to like make it this far. So that's the small goal that I have set so I can really turn this into a career. Hey Larry, what's shaking? Larry! Sandy! Boy, am I glad to see you. I need your help. My TV reception has been terrible lately. I need to have someone replace my old antenna with this shiny that. new one. Yes, sir. That fair antenna is shinier than a $3 <laughs> bill. Well, why don't you replace it yourself? I'm not really much Aww, of a he's got skinny legs. Larry so, doesn't hit like this. got to do with it? Because the old antenna oh my is gosh. up there. Oh my gosh. That is so far away. Woo! That's taller than a glass of Texas you iced said tea. It. The robots have blocked off that building, and I can't do all those fancy moves you and SpongeBob do to get across these gaps. All I can do is flex! I, I don't want to see it, Larry. Yeah, great. Uh, so what are you going to do with the old antenna? Oh, that? It's yours if you replace it with a new one. <laughs> I have been getting bad TV reception in the tree dome. Okay, Larry, <laughs> you got a deal. What's this way? Is there anything behind here? Uh, I kind of forgot what I was talking about earlier. Oh, what's this? Hang on. I want to know what this is. Uh, oh, yeah, I know what I'm talking about. But. Yeah, those are all the small goals I've set for myself, which it's good to set the small goals, you know what I mean? It's good to have small goals and big goals. Like I said, I want I want to attempt to get at least 30 subscribers by the end of the year and in at least two to three years, maybe even four or five, I want to be fully monetized. I want to hope to be fully monetized, I should say. But I'm in no rush, really. I'm, I'm pretty content uh, where I am right now. Then you may get crossed by double jumping when I get afterwards. Um. You know, I'm pretty content where I'm at right now. I got a good, like, small thing going. My numbers are small. My okay. That's video efforts, I don't want to call them small, but they're pretty small compared to, like, other probably new YouTubers or old YouTubers and things like that. Um, Ew. Can't believe I'm wearing but I've been slowly getting better, I like to think. Uh... I've been trying to be more like, not cheerful, but like more louder, like more vocal during these videos because um, my friend pointed out once that I kind of sound bored whenever I'm making these videos. I don't mean to be, I just have a naturally like monotone kind of voice. There we go. Oh no. Um, but I've been trying to, like, be more vocal and louder and really show more emotion while doing this, as you can all hopefully tell. I'm going all the way back to the beginning. Ah, oh, I shouldn't have done this. Please. Yes. Oh, wait, the box. There we go. But yeah, I like to think that I've slowly been improving uh, throughout the months. I don't- I think it's been 
I started the channel back in January, which is insane to think about because it's June now. Which is insane to think about that I've been doing this for a good couple months now. Ooh, hold on. Eee. Come here, you. You. Oh, no. Okay. Uh. Okay, that's better. I don't know. I think I've been doing pretty good. You know, like I said, hopefully by the end of the year I'll have 30 subscribers, and in the long run I will eventually be monetized. Cause that's really that's really the whole point of this. I want to make a career out of this because I've always wanted to. I'm always watching other YouTubers and things like that. Uh, and I've seen their their growth uh, through watching their old videos or just being there towards the somewhat beginning and just sticking around through their their own journeys. I watch a lot of different YouTubers. I watch some gaming YouTubers. I watch uh, Do I really commentary YouTubers. Why am I going all the way back? Oh, because I need to jump onto that ledge. Okay. There we go. Um, I used to watch a lot of food uh, videos, which I also kind of want to do, like cooking videos and things like that, which seems kind of weird to do considering I'm a gaming channel. But I thought it'd be fun, you know, like in the long run when I eventually move out and I start hopefully streaming on Twitch. Which is one of my other goals to do. Please press the button. This controller sucks. I need to get my other controller out. Hang on. Okay, other controller corrected. Um. I fell off. <laughs> okay, that was my fault. <laughs> I don't cook often because I'm not really. I'm not, I, I wouldn't say I'm not allowed to, but I'm not very trusted, which I guess makes sense because I'm never really in the kitchen a lot. But you know, I, you know, like I said, when I eventually move out, because like I'm 19, I recently turned 19, and I just, I want, it's something I've always wanted to do. I've always wanted to like share my own favorite foods with people and like, uh, teach people how to make things and like just interact with people while I make things, you know. It's a very small thing, but it's something I've always wanted to do, which I've been kind of afraid to initiate it um, here at this house because I'm still pretty self-conscious when with the whole recording and everything, so... Like, recording at this house isn't- isn't bad. Uh... My room is all the way at the other end of the house, so... There's not much interference when I'm recording and things like that, but... It's just pretty awkward. Uh... And you know, wanting to record in the kitchen and make cooking videos, it's obviously something that would be strange for me. Uh, what am I- what is this? What am I doing? Am I going all the way back? Why am I going all the way back? Oh, a sock! Another okay, cool. Give me the underwears. I feel there like we go. A new sponge. Uh... But it is something I would like to do in the future. trial and error. But 
But yeah, I have a lot of little ideas swimming around in my head and I'm hoping at some points I can go ahead and execute them and things like that. But like I said, it all depends on the viewer. For anybody that wants to start YouTube, it is your channel. You run it. At the end of the day, you are the one that makes all of the decisions. But ultimately, it can come all down to whoever watches the videos. Because at the end of the day, you are making it for other people to enjoy. And you want to make things that other people enjoy. You want to make things that other people will enjoy. Sometimes some things won't work out because people just don't like it. Sometimes something will go great, but you don't like it. And that is all a part of the process. As I have ranted on and on in the two other Spongebob videos. Nearly a video I have done where I have rambled on about YouTube like a psychopath. It's work. <laughs> it's work. And... You have to, you know, cater to the consumer. Bringing it around town. Which isn't a bad thing. Bringing it's not a bad thing. Town. But it is ultimately fact. Where are the rest of the thingies? Five out of, out of eleven. Bringing it around town. Am I blind? Have I seen them somewhere and I just like. I just turned to Sandy again. I've noticed I've been doing that a lot. I've been rambling in a lot of videos and things like that, which I don't mean to. If you guys don't like that, I apologize. There's one. It's not something I mean to do, it's just... I don't know, it's just when I start talking, I just can't stop. There's a sock right there. Obviously, it's something that I can control. I just gotta figure out how to control it. I see another steering wheel over here. Um, what is down here? There's nothing there. It's a long, long process. I'm still getting used to being me. Gosh darn it. How do I get up there? I need to get... There are so many things we need to get. Uh... Sandy, you're so slow. I want to give Mrs. Puff her thing. Hang on a minute. Eh? No, there's nothing in there. Okay, well... Eh. We gotta circle all the way back around. Which is dumb. No! Please, Sandy. Yeah, if you don't like the rambles, I apologize from the deepest part of my heart. Because I know it can get annoying. Sometimes I find it annoying, but... I'm still getting used to talking, and it's a little hard... It's still hard for me to do all of this, especially since, like, I am talking to myself and I'm not exactly used to that. So... Slowly getting better. Slowly getting better. Eventually, I will stop. I will learn to stop. Ugh. Where are the rest of the thingies?
All right, let's do a quick search of them right now. I found this uh, after I found the other thing on the rooftop. There's another part to the Bikini Bottom downtown. Bikini Bottom. Mm -hmm. Mr. Krabs. Ahoy there, Sandy. Top of the morning to you, Mr. Krabs. Oh, do I do I need to be SpongeBob? Here it is. Hello. Uh, there there you we are, go. Some... That's horrible. The sea needle is the cradle of Crochet Corner. Yes, yes it is. But what's more important is that there are tiki's and shiny objects just outside the windows. Mr. Krabs, how can you think of money at a time like this? Easy. I just clear my mind. <laughs> money. 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 Now listen here, boy. You know that I'll give you golden spatulas if you bring me shiny objects. But I'm going to sweeten the deal. If you can break all the tiki's here at the Sea Needle, I'll give you a bonus golden spatula. Why would I want to break the tiki's, Mr. Krabs? Uh... Because they were laughing at you and calling you funny names. What kind of funny names? Um, you know, SpongeBob butt pants. That's not very funny. Uh, no, but they said your mom was ugly. <gasps> not my mom. Ugly? All right, Mr. Krabs, break to my cell. You've got a deal. Dang right, SpongeBob. We're gonna get them. They insulted my mom. No one does that. How dare you? More bungee jump. Yeah. The ultimate bungee experience. It shines. Lee. Come here, you. Ow. Oh. This is so hard. No. Bye. There we go. That's all of them. Okay. So now we go oh this direction. Hello. Ow. Ow. Stop it. There's one of the thingies. Alright, now we have 10 of 11, so we just need one more. I missed. <laughs> I, I missed. <laughs> no. Please. Okay, I got it. Ooh. Come here, friend. Ow. I feel like a new son. Does it matter that I'm leaving some of the money there? Come back with a cruise book. I'm not afraid of heights. I'm not What's that? afraid of heights. I'm not afraid of heights. Oh, careful. No. Okay. I completely messed up. That was my fault. One more time. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I already pressed that. Ah! Up, 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 up. There we go. Alright. Once more. Hello. We got a. Pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Right, well, push, so we'll push, do this push, one, push. this last one, because I need to come back with a different ability, apparently. So we'll Boy. do. Oh. We got all of Mrs. Puff's thingies. 
So we'll really quickly finish this up. Ugh. Come here. Ow. Oh, what the heck? Careful, Spongebob. There's one, I think. There we go. Okay. Let's go back to Mrs. Puff and let's give her to it and then we'll call it... a video. Let's go this way. It'll be easier and faster. Mrs. Puff! Spongebob, <laughs> I'm impressed. How did you fight? Well, there were these robots. I met Sandy, and the lighthouse was... Okay, okay. <laughs> Sorry I asked. Here's the golden spatula that I promised. Thanks, Mrs. Puff. Now I'll help you guys evacuate. But Spongebob, you don't have a driver's license. Oh, don't I? No, no you don't. <laughs> Well, if I don't, then what's this? Look at that picture on it. What the heck? A library card. Oh. It's a library card. I used to have a library card. And I lost it. Okay. So we're basically finished with downtown Bikini Bottom now. So let's go back and let's see where we're going to be heading next time. We did Jellyfish Fields. We just did downtown bikini bottom so the next place is goo lagoon nice i'm excited let's go ahead and zoom in on that <laughs> on spongebob under that sign over there uh thank you all very much for watching this was fun thank you for letting me rant on once more <laughs> this game is probably gonna be me just ranting on and on but who knows, maybe some of you guys like when I do that. But thank you all so much for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go ahead and leave it off there. I'll see you all later in the next episode. Or in the outro.